recently sinabi nyo, uh, si Vice President Binay, that uh, Binay promised to be at Manila Pen. Uh, exactly what was Binay's involvement in the Manila Pen siege? Ko platter siya, as far as I'm concerned, kasi the first time hinatch po yung plano, kami po yung magkakausap. And we did that sa uh, administrative office po ng courtroom, which is located in the same place as yung office niya sa Makati City Hall. So, bumaba siya noon, we arrived early, nakiusap kami dun sa mga bantay na makikipag-usap lang kami. So, ando dun din naman yung mga bantay, but nakapag-usap po kami ng ganito ni Vice President Binay. Ano, ano pinangako niya na sasama siya? Ganun ba? Hindi lang ho. Uh, dinefine ho namin yung mga roles. So, kami po ang magsisimula uh, ng, uh, ng uprising, lalabas kami. Then, uh, siya po, uh, sila po ang magpo-provide ng uh, organized uh, mass uh, movement ng empleyado ng Makati, estudyante ng University of Makati, pati yung urban poor ng Makati. Tapos, pati yung, ano ho, yung traffic aid niya, yung MAPSA, and... Uh, uh, Makati City Police ay eh, kinumit niya ron. And uh, binalidate ito ng last hearing ni Vice Mayor Mercado kasi Vice Mayor ho siya nun, that he was given instructions na uh, i-organisa yung mga barangay for a, uh, an emergency ano, uh, organized mass action. Oh. Nung nangyari yun at hindi siya dumating, bakit hindi kayo? Why did you keep quiet all this time? Well, uh, ganun naman, kasi yung, yung atraso niya was sa amin, ano? We, we, I'm not about to rat out on, on him, ano? He chickened out, eh. So, ano bang ang krimen niya for, chick, uh, for being a, a coward? So, sa akin lang ho yung krimen niya. Why, why did you decide to bring out his name now? Uh, I brought out that uh, incident in relation to the word of honor or the lack of it in the case of the Vice President. Ah, yung kanyang palabra de honor. Okay, so what do you expect to happen to this investigation? The Meron Report, kayo, no, ha? Sinasabi nyo that this investigation was in aid of legislation. Anong mga, mga, mga legislation that you can pursue that will make sure that this does not, something like this does not happen again? So, uh, yun po, no? I, uh, I already filed this, yung mandatory video recording ng uh, bidding procedures para ho, hindi na nagkakaroon ng bidding-bidingan or yung documents lang ang bidding. So, yun po, and uh, the recordings can be used sa criminal or administrative proceedings. Uh, that's one. Pangalawa, yung uh, pag-include ng nung construction reference uh, manual, pagbibigay ng agency estimates, um, ito po, magagamit ito ng mga procuring agencies ng DPWH to include COA. Kasi ngayon po, no, pagka nagpagawa ng building yung isang LGU, arbitrary yung kanilang pagbibigay ng agency estimate. So, para hindi sila mag-overprice, tataasan nila agency estimate. So, ang gagawin lang ng contractor is just to bid, a sh just a shade under. yes. So, hindi, hindi sila overpriced. So, but with this... Ito may bills na? nagpresenta nag na ba kayo ng bills sa Senate o gagawin nyo pa? Yung iba po, bills na iba ho, na-file ko na. Na-file ko na. And, and yung iba ho, uh, ongoing pa kasi investigation, uh -huh. gusto ho namin makita yung buong konteksto para when we come up with a bill, nakocover namin lahat. Okay, let's shift the, the scenario. We all know you as Senator Trillanes. You're always alone. Where is Mrs. Trillanes? Uh, my, my wife is teaching po, ma'am, in uh, National University. In National University. And how many children do you have? Uh, I have two. Um, I, I lost my third child uh, back in 2004 um, as caused by complications during childbirth, ma'am. Uh -huh. So he lived for 21 days. And your two children, my, boy, girl, what? Um, boy, girl, uh, the, the eldest, uh, is 17 years old. My daughter is 15 years old. Now. Oh, uh, how do they take this, this uh, uh, publicity? I mean, the, the the attention that is being paid to you. Sila ba eh, na 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 affect dun sa attention? Um, 
I, I hope not, but uh, it's unavoidable, ma'am, no? But uh, kasi they, they grew up practically no nakakulong ako, ma'am. Uh, I missed uh, seven years of their uh, childhood and uh, I'm trying to make up for it. So, what do you do for relaxation with them? Do you do you take them out? Or, you know, is is the, the do you have a close knit family or or bahala sila the jump kayo? Most most definitely not, ma'am. Um, we make it a point na we go out regularly. Um, we eat out. Nanunod po kami na sine. We we uh, uh, go mauling, so we try to live as normal as uh, possible, ma'am. As normal uh, Filipino middle-class families. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're talking about Filipino middle-class families. Kayo ay naging senador from 2007, 2014 na ngayon. Seven years na ang kayo naging senador. Magkano ang nakukuha nyo isang taon bilang senador? Bilang senador ho, um, ang salary po would be around 1.2 million, yeah. uh, a little over that. But that is only the salary. What about yung mga maintenance, ex you know, expenses that becomes yours? Hindi ho dumadaan sa amin. It gets paid directly. What would be your message ho? Mukhang gigil na gigil na kayo na you want to have this, the vice president jailed. Well, ano po to na? Uh, yung nangyari investigasyon, ay uh, isang ano na to uh, this is a start of the uh, reform period of uh, the country at uh, kumbaga kung noon ay na, na, nagagawa nila ito nang uh, hindi nabibisto pero nakita natin dito na huling huli na yung mga ganyang kalakaran so they better stop doing that ngayon kay Vice President Binay naman well uh, hindi po kami hinto until uh, may lagay siya behind bars. Whew, that's, uh, <laughs> I, well, I wish you success. Thank you very much, Senator Tillanes.